But let's say you have a scenario where you have already developed your code and you have the binary file ready. Now imagine you are in a remote location or maybe somewhere without access to your full setup or you want to update firmware to a bunch of existing products on site. In situations like this, how do you deploy your code to an ESP32 device efficiently? Well, there are two main options available. First, you can upload the firmware using your Android phone with an OTG adapter and a micro USB cable. And this is what we will be doing in this video. Second, you can use over their updates or OTA. This method lets you push firmware to your ESP32 wirelessly. There are two types of OTA available, one over Wi-Fi and the other over Bluetooth. 